Welcome. Um, in this section of the tutorial, we'll go ahead and go over some of the different commonly asked questions so that way you're able to get yourself situated um, a little bit faster. Um, so the first thing we're going to go over is if you're trying to log into the portal and it's not letting you sign in here. So the first common issue with why it won't let you sign in is you have to register the account first by clicking here in the top right hand corner, or um, if you have registered, you have to verify the account by clicking on the email that the state will send you after you've registered and click on verify. If those two things have been completed and it's still not letting you sign in, you can click on forgot password. You'll then have to enter in the email that you use to register that account. So for us, we're just going to use a company email here. And once you've entered that, you'll have to click on I'm not a robot and click on send reset password mail. And then it'll tell you that your password has been sent, you know, check your email and follow the instructions. So you'll come back to your email. Maybe refresh the page. And here you'll see it says password reset. All of your emails from the state are going to be from MMMP, Missouri Medical Marijuana Program. So you'll click on that email and you'll click this green button that says reset password. And once you do that, it'll open up this page so that way you can go ahead and change that password to whatever you're needing. Um, again, just keep in mind, all passwords have to be at least eight characters long, have at least one uppercase letter and one lowercase letter along with one number. And again, you have to make sure that both of those passwords will ma match each other. What we recommend sometimes just to keep it easy, go ahead and make it your last name with an uppercase letter as the first one and add one, two, three at the end of it or a number combination that's easy for you to remember. But once you've entered in the password that you'd like, you'll click on reset password. And then it'll say your password has been success successfully reset please log in. So you'll go back to the sign in and you'll enter in that email. And then the password that you had just reset it to. Click on I'm not a robot and sign in. And there we go, we're inside. And another thing that we definitely wanted to go over was how to check the status of your application. So since this is a um, testing video, um, we obviously don't have any applications that have been submitted for the company or anything. But just to give you an idea of where to look at to check the status of a submitted application, you'll go to your applications, which will be on the right hand side here. Sorry, the left. And here you'll see that this is an application that we had started to use in our previous tutorial video. So right here, it'll show the status. And ours is currently just open. It hasn't been submitted. Um, it hasn't been approved, denied, or rejected. But when the status changes, so will this right here. So that way you can see where you're at in the process with that application. Um, and again, just as a reminder, the state does have up to 30 days from the day that you have submitted the application to send you out your card via email or to make this an approved status here. If there's anything wrong with the application that they will need you to correct, the status will say either rejected or denied. And they'll also send you an email stating the reason for that rejection or denial. So that way you can log in and fix that. Which leads me into my next point of how do you edit 
an application once it's been denied or rejected. So again, you'll log in, you'll click on that applications tab, and you'll want to look under the status for the one that says rejected or denied. For instructional purposes, this one will work fine. You'll click on that application. And again, on our screen, it won't show the exact same thing, but above this section, there's going to be a big orange box that will detail from the state what they're needing you to update and change on that application and how to send that back in to them. So just again, for instructional purposes, let's say this orange box said that they needed you to upload a different document. So you'll look on these upper tabs and you'll find the tab that says documents and edit what was necessary and always click save and next after you have finished editing the section necessary. And you'll go back to review. And you'll review it and if everything's correct to your liking as the state's needing you to change it, you'll click on pay and submit and it will resubmit that application for you to the state. Now let's say that you receive an approved email from the state and you're trying to find your license. So again, all instructional, um, but normally once a card has been approved, it'll pop up in your license dashboard and it will appear below all of this with the card's information, your name, the expiration date, things like that. But again, just for instructional purposes, so I can show you, I'm going to click on applications and it'll look very similar to this in the same fashion. But in order to view and print the card, there will be a spot that says actions and a circle here with three green lines. If you click on that, under the licenses, it will give you the option to download, view the license, um, and a couple others. But in order for you to save that as a picture, you'll want to click on download license. And it will save to your computer or your phone, whatever device you're using. And you can use that from there. Um, and again, dispensaries will accept um, either a digital copy, so what you just saved from this website, or if you'd like to print that off to have a physical copy with you, that is definitely okay as well. And then lastly here, if you have any further questions regarding your application, um, you would need to Get in contact with the state if you're having any technical issues, um, if you are reading through a rejection and it's not making quite sense. Um, unfortunately, that's all going to be with the state. But um, just so that way you'll have all the information, their phone number to be reached at is 866-219-9000. Six, five. And then their email address, which is how they're currently opened, is going to be medical marijuana info at health dot mo dot gov. If there's anything that you need that wasn't included in this tutorial or the previous tutorial, feel free to give us a call back at the call center, and that would be 877-242-0362. Thank you.